Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, specifically the Napoleonic Warfare open source conversion mod for Bannerlord. And so uh, if you're not familiar with it and the name doesn't give it away, this is a mod that aims to bring the entire world of Calradia in Bannerlord into the modern era of the Napoleonic Wars. So uh, guns and powder, basically. Uh, with all that being said, I've already covered pretty much all of the factions, uh, uniforms in the game, all of the major factions, which is the Austrians, the British, the French, the Russians, the Prussians, and the Ottomans. And then there is the minor factions that we're covering. So we already covered the Italians, which are a minor part of the French faction. And now in this episode, we're covering the Hungarians, which is part of Austrian because it's Austria-Hungary uh, being a superpower from the time or a, I guess, global power, whatever you want to call them. They were important at the time. So today we're going to be looking at the Hungarian uniforms. And so it's going to follow the same basic structure as the Italian one did because they're a minor part of the Austrian faction. Oftentimes the uniforms are going to have Austrian pieces in them, but they will be mainly Hungarian themed. So uh, with all that being said, let's just dive on in and start off with the first one. All right, and so the first one we're going to be taking a look at is the Hungarian Skirmisher. So this is a very basic level uh, infantry, well, slash skirmisher troop for the Hungarian faction. And uh, I think overall the uniform, the Hungarian ones are actually decent. I think they're a nice step up from the Ottoman and the Italian ones, uh, but that's just because they are very unique looking especially the pants. So this uniform is made up of the Austri uh, uh, Austrian Insurrection Shako, the Infantry Bandolier, the Austrian Recruit Uniform, the Officer Gloves Wool, and the Hungarian Infantry Pants. So it's really just the pants that are Hungarian. All the rest of it is Austrian, which is funny. I guess the Bandolier is just general. But uh, overall, pretty decent looking uniform. I think that the Shakos for the Austral... Uh, I keep saying Australian. Austrian faction are probably the worst Shakos in the game, so not a whole lot you can do about that. But overall, Overall, the rest of it looks pretty dope, and I'm a big fan of it, so it's got some actually strong American Civil War Confederate vibes going on with it now that I look at it, but uh, yeah, pretty decent. That is the Hungarian Skirmisher. Next up, we have the Hungarian Line Infantry, and this one is actually four variants, and I'll show you those as we go through them, but uh, this is what it looks like on the whole, so pretty good, I would say. Uh, it's made up of the Austrian Shako, the Austrian Equipment, the Hungarian Line Uniform, the Officer's Gloves White, and the Hungarian Infantry Pants. So real basic, very similar to the Skirmisher one, uh, the difference being the Hungarian line uniform, or at least that being the key difference. And like I said, there are variants. So this is the number 62 one. It's got this dark sort of olive green. I like that. I think it looks weird with the pants, but I do like the design of the uh, the tunic for this uniform. I think it looks pretty nice. But there are four variants. So the other one, this is the 60th variant. So you can see it's got sort of a teal color. The second variant has this bright yellow that probably goes the best with these pants. And the 19th variant has a light blue that is also all right with the pants but because it's just slightly different from the pants I find it a little bit more off-putting but that being said it's the closest to matching accent color to main color so that is the Hungarian line infantry like I said there are four variants but they're all basically the same other than the accents on the jacket next up we have the top tier Hungarian infantry unit in the game and that is the Hungarian grenadier and so this one also has variants just like the Hungarian line infantry does uh, but I think looks a little bit cooler mostly just because the hat is cooler but that being said, this uniform is made up of the Austrian Grenadier Bearskin, the Austrian Equipment, the Hungarian Line Uniform, the Officer Gloves White, and the Hungarian Infantry Pants. And so again, there are four different variants of this one. They're going to be the colors of the top. So this is Hungarian Line Uniform 19. This is Hungarian Line Uniform 2. This is Hungarian Line Uniform 60. And this is Hungarian Line Uniform 62. And so, like I said, all of them look decent with the uniform. I definitely like the bearskin cap. I think it looks very, very cool. Uh, but that is the Hungarian Grenadier, all four variants of that uniform. Next up, we have the Hungarian Infantry Officer uniform. So this one is uh, rather distinctive, and it would be the officer variant of that first one. So the Hungarian Line Infantry, this would be their officer variant. So this one is made up of the following pieces, the officer's bicorn, the cavalry bandolier, the Hungarian officer uniform, uh, and there are several different variants, but we just chose to use one of them, the 19th one, because it probably looks the best, the officer's white gloves, and the Hungarian officer boots. So very Hungarian themed and very officer. I like this one. I think it's well put together and just overall for the Hungarian faction looks quite 
good. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more color in it, but as it is, I think it looks pretty good. So that is the Hungarian Infantry Officer. Next up, we have the Hungarian Grenadier Officer. So this is the officer variant of the Grenadier, so that should go without saying. And again, I think it looks pretty good, significantly better than the basic Grenadier, just because it's got a little bit more flash to it. So this one's made up of the Austrian Grenadier Officer Bearskin, the Cavalry Bandolier, the Hungarian Officer Uniform, and again, there are multiple variants of this one. We're just using the number two one with the yellow, uh, the Officer's Gloves White, and the Hungarian Officer Boots. So again, just a fancier version of the Grenadier, because this is the Officer variant. So again, I think it looks decent, but that is that one. So let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Hungarian Insurrectionist. So a pretty solid looking one here. Definitely very distinctive, possibly the most distinctive of all the uh, Hungarian troops or uniforms. And so this one is made up of the following pieces. The Austrian Insurrection Chaco, the Austrian Equipment Black, the uh, Hungarian Insurrection Uniform, the Officer Gloves Black, and the Hungarian Infantry Pants. So this one's all very blue. It's got some gold accents and stuff on it. It does look pretty basic, but overall, just because of the fact that it has so much more color to it than a lot of them, I think it stands out very, very well. So uh, that is the Hungarian Insurrectionist, the regular enlisted one. Uh, let's move on to the next uniform. Next up, we have the Hungarian Grenzer. And so this is a Grenzer type troop. That's a border guard slash uh, frontier patrol type uni uh, guard from the uh, Napoleonic era. And so the, the Grenzer uniform is made up of the following pieces, the Austrian Chaco, the Austrian Equipment Black, the Austrian Grenzer uniform, and a uh, there are two different variants. We're just using the ninth variant here because it has the color that I like a bit better. Then we have the officer gloves black and the Hungarian infantry pants. So blue and brown going on with this one definitely gives it a little bit more body and uniqueness than a lot of the other ones that we've looked at because it's got that extra brown to it. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I think in, in a weird twist of fate, that brown and blue is actually a decent contrast. So not a bad uniform, but that is the Hungarian Grenzer. Next up, we have the Hungarian Grenzer officer uniform. So this is just the fancier officer variant of the last uniform we looked at. It's very similar, but has distinctive pieces that make it different. So this one is the Officer Bicorn, the Cavalry Bandolier, the Austrian Grenzer Officer Uniform. Again, there are two different variants, but we're just using the ninth variant. Uh, then we have the White Officer's Gloves and the Hungarian Officer's Boots. So I think significantly better looking than the standard Hungarian Grenzer. I think that uh, despite the fact that I don't love the Bicorn hat, I do think I like it better than the Austrian uh, Shakos, which is not normal. I like like a lot of the Shakos in the game, the Austrian ones just don't look that cool. So yeah, I think this one stands out very well as an officer uniform for the Grenzers. So that's this one. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Hungarian Hussar. So this is the unique Hungarian Hussar troop. And I think it looks pretty good. It's probably the most unique looking for all of the Hungarian uniforms. Kind of hard to put my finger on that title exactly. But I think this one does a good job of being recognizable and unique. So it's made up of the Hungarian Hussar Shako, the Austrian uh, Hussar Equipment, the Hungarian Hungarian Hussar uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Hungarian infantry pants. So interestingly enough, no cavalry pants for this cavalry unit because it is a Hussar, but uh, pretty good on the whole. There's actually no clipping that I can notice and uh, no major texture issues. I think this one actually looks pretty good and it might come the closest uh, uh, for the shirt and pants actually coming pretty close to matching each other. So not bad. Love the extra gold accents. I think it looks pretty dope, uh, but that is the Hungarian Hussar. Let's move on to the next uniform. Next up, we have the Hungarian Hungarian General, so the highest ranking uniform that we have for all of the Hungarian units, and I think it actually looks pretty good. This is a well put together uniform. It's not quite as good as the Austrian General. I think that one looks slightly better, but this one does come close because it's quite nice. I, I like it a lot. So it's made up of the Austrian General Bicorn, the Austrian General Band, the Hungarian Officer Uniform, and there are several different variants of this one. We're just using the second one because it has the gold slash yellow accents, which match the uniform the best. Uh, I think there's one with red. That one would also work rather well for this uniform. Uh, then we have the officer's gloves white and the Hungarian Hussar boots. So not using the officer's boots or even the Austrian general's uh, boots. We're using the Hungarian Hussar boots. They're red. The boots themselves don't look quite as fancy as you could get, but it has these cool goldish accents, which uh, I think matches the uniform really well and looks awesome. So that is the Hungarian general. You want to dress like a high ranking Hungarian in your playthrough? This is the way to do it. Uh, but that's the second to last one we are doing today. And for our final Hungarian uniform, we have the Hungarian Insurrectionist Officer. So we went through the Hungarian Insurrectionist earlier. That was just the enlisted one. This is the officer variant for that one. So I think you'll agree. It looks pretty good. So it's very, very blue, which again, I like because it helps it stand out amongst the troops because it's a very unique shade and uh, doesn't blend 
blend in nearly as much as a lot of the mostly white uniforms that you're seeing. So this one is made up of the officer's bicorn, the cavalry bandolier, the Hungarian insurrection officer uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Hungarian officer boots. So it's very similar to the Hungarian insurrectionist, uh, just slightly fancier. We've got those officer's boots, we've got that officer's shirt, we've got the uh, sort of gold sash on the waist. And instead of using the black gloves and black equipment, we've got that white bandolier and the white gloves. So slightly fancier, very officer themed, and that is the Hungarian insurrectionist officer. So that's it. That's all the uniforms for the Hungarian faction. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Uh, this is, at least for now, the last one I'm going to do for uniforms for this game because I've now covered all of them, at least as far as I'm aware. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the rest of them, I def definitely recommend checking them out, uh, especially the British, French, and Prussian ones. They're probably the three best factions currently in the game as far as, you know, unique stuff that's been added. But yeah, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.